Before we turbo the car, there is one thing that the Civic is missing. back at it again after repainting the engine bay we are missing something very important can you try to guess what it is yes you're right we are missing ac today is brought to you by dc fire creations a ac tuck kit so what tuck means is basically it hides most of the wires so that way it looks clean the less wires the more cleaner it gets I went to Walmart just to buy some cheap grinder. I normally don't use this anyway, so I just bought a cheap one. I've actually used the Hyper Tough stuff. They're not too bad, but it should be powerful enough to drill the hole that we need. This is what we're gonna be cutting out. We need to make a hole through here. The line is gonna come through here, and then it's gonna go roll down to the uh, condenser. After 10 minutes later, it's not the best looking cut, but it will work. Going in. Put some paint on it just to make sure that it doesn't rust. I think the hardest part is is getting it to clear here. I know it's not the best looking hole. It's kind of hard to see, but this fuse block fits. I do not want to relocate it. I just want to leave it how here, how it is. Because this is not really a show car per se, since we are going to boost it, just want to make it as uh, clean as possible, but OEM. Going to go towards this evaporator. Might have to cut this battery tray a little bit just to make sure that these adapters clear. If you're already running a relocation kit, you don't need to do that. Barely clears, as you can see right here. I just tightened these. I am attaching this adapter right here for the pressure switch. This is my old AC setup and from the old dryer, you could see this little switch right here. We're gonna have to reuse that. This kit already comes with adapters, so you could just plug these right in. I already tightened these two lines. Put this in here. So this where the switch originally goes, just in this area through this hole. So now we're gonna have to take this is for the switch. We're gonna cut this. We're gonna route it all the way through here just to hit the switch so that way the AC works properly. We're gonna take our shorter low pressure hose to this side, plop it on. Basically this other side of the end, it'll go on this. What is those, man? I can see them totally do that. <laughs> Finally got this condenser on. The one that looks like an L will go on the top. I uh, use the tappers that include with the kit to mount this on. So it's definitely not going anywhere. I mean, you can see I'm wiggling it. Take our big one right here to there. And this last one is gonna go right under here like this. And now, as you can see, I fit my battery in here. Fuse box just fine. And as you can see in the back, you can see that shiny stuff that it barely clears literally the lines. And this time you could just see two wires at most in the AC condenser, but you could definitely still fit a turbo in here. Hello, full off pan, 134, coming through all the way through this line. And uh, yeah. It actually works. I don't have a thermometer or anything, but trust me, this guy is blowing cold before it was blowing hot. All of my cars always had AC, but this car in particular, because it's old, it always breaks down. So i uh, never had AC for a while, especially when I bought it, it didn't have AC at all. So it's been a few days later with the AC for the hatch. And as you can see, the bay just looks 10 times better. Before the lines were running through here, and run through this tower and it would make it super messy. But now that the AC lines are tucked and the condenser is reversed, it just makes the engine bay so much cleaner. Now there was one issue that I ran into and I spoke to the owner, Davey, about it at DC5 Creations. This valve right here, you can't tell, but this valve is bad. This little stem that's poking inside the line and it ran pretty well and then it stopped. He said, he hasn't seen that problem in years and that's when he was first developing the kit and now it's very rare to happen so I guess I'm one of the unlucky ones. He said he was willing to replace it but I said no worries so I went to O'Reilly's and got new ones. Basically these are the little tiny valves that go in to the line itself. I haven't had time to replace it. 
Um, I'll keep you guys updated about that. When modifying cars, there's a lot of things that go wrong. One, you want to have the good product, but also good customer service. I do appreciate Davey a lot. I've worked with a lot of companies before and it sucks that when you buy a part, they're not good with customer service or not, they're not willing to replace the part. So that is awesome to see. We are one step closer to terminating the car. I am super excited. Your Integra, Civic, they sold K-Series, anything like that. They have all kinds of parts for your Honda needs. So make sure to go check them down below. I'll leave the link, no commission off of this link. I just genuinely like their stuff and I had friends that bought from DC Fire Creations before. <music>